Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to backup or create a new table from existing SQL Server table. What are the reasons we would like to do that? So think about a scenario where you are working as a SQL Server developer. You need to update some records, maybe delete some records. The table you have is a small table, maybe contain only 5,000 or 10,000 records. You want to take the backup of that table before uh, implement or run those uh, DML statements. Um, so in case uh, you have to come back and see what were uh, the previous values uh, or uh, what updates you have done um, and if you have to revert them back maybe you can write another update statements by using the backup table and uh, update to the previous values. Um, why? You, you would say why I don't take the full backup uh, instead of taking the backup of a table because sometimes database sizes are really big. Uh, they could be maybe 100 GB or 200 GB or maybe half a terabyte. Uh, and if you have make uh, changes uh, to maybe 1000 or 100 records, uh, it's a good idea you just take the backup of those records. Uh, instead of uh, taking the backup of entire database uh, i'm sure you would have some uh, dbs would have some plan for the backup and uh, uh, re restore and disaster recovery and all that but you don't want uh, just for the one uh, uh, table for 10 records uh, if something goes wrong uh, you don't want to restore the entire database uh, that can take maybe an hour to just uh, restore but on top of that uh, like there are applications connected there are um, uh, some transactions going on you can't really uh, do that do th these kind of things in production so best way you take the backup of your table or especially those records uh, uh, that you are going to update or delete uh, and in case you have to revert back you can write your update statements and use the backup table and revert to the previous values uh, so think uh, here in uh, one of the SQL Server instance, I have uh, this uh, database called Tech Brothers uh, and uh, the table is called the customer. So if I need to make the backup of this table, how I can do that? Uh, if it is small table, I will uh, make the backup of this entire uh, table. So this table has only three records. Uh, maybe 3000 5000 10000 20000 fine no big deal with these are very small number of records and we can take the backup right away so in some companies i have seen that uh, the people have even a uh, uh, databases called the backup or uh, they have a dba or something in the database where the dbas can take the backup of these uh, type of uh, request uh, when the, the update has to happen to the customer table they would like to take the backup of that table because sql server does not uh, uh, really provide the backup of a uh, uh, table so it does not provide a table level ba backup it does provide a database level uh, backups so, so for the table you will be simply creating another table and storing the information or the records before we implement our dml such as the update or delete uh, statements so if uh, we would like to make the backup of this table what we need to do we have to say select asterisk into and then we have to provide the, the new table name. So in this case, let's say I would like to take the backup of a customer table in your DB name. So that's my database name. And then I will say, I'm going to, because you might, this is your production database. You don't want to even have any extra table, even backup tables and all that. But here in the same server, you have one database that, you, that DBS use to take the backups or uh, uh, backup of those tables and all that. You can use the, that database. So let's uh, do, uh, do that DBO dot. Uh, I'm going to call this one a customer underscore today's data. So maybe 2016, five and uh, let's say 10. That's the data today. And now what will happen, uh, this table will be created uh, and all the records uh, from uh, DBO customer will be copied to this uh, table. Um, so let's go ahead and run it. Now three records affected. Now open our your database uh, name DB and here we will refresh and you see that this table is there. So in case you don't, now we can go ahead and select the data from this table as well. Take a look. You see that these records are there in cases where you have to come back and make some changes to this uh, DBO customer table. You can make changes and uh, these changes are saved here so we can revert back if we want to just update or delete. Now think uh, if this uh, that table has millions of records. Uh, so now 
this uh, select asterisk from a customer and this has uh, 20 million records uh, and you are making changes only to five records uh, so you want to take the backup of only five records uh, you don't care about other uh, records because you want to update maybe or uh, delete only those five records uh, in those cases uh, you will just take the backup of those uh, five records uh, in the, uh, let's uh, take that one select asterisk into provide the name so I will say five records or one record whatever from this and here I will use the where clause to select those five records maybe I will say where ID is less than two so or less than or equal to two give me all the records where put in this new table and only two records maybe or one record so whatever you want to name it name it and then by using the where clause select those records uh, on which you are going to perform update or delete operation so you will have the backup of uh, those records only so see new table is created and we can go ahead and select the data and see if it is there now the records are there so that's great now in this case let's say you need to update uh, a last name and uh, you went ahead uh, and uh, you did update to the DBU customer so let me say select as click from and you want to update uh, anything that has ID you want to add maybe just um, uh, say uh, top one record or something like top two or something at least you want to update this value let's I'm gonna just update to any value for now so we'll say update table this is how you will update and you will say set uh, last name column and here you will provide the value maybe last name plus uh, uh, I will say plus test so I add the test to the last name where ID remember we are just uh, updating top or first two records uh, where ID is less than or equal to two if I run this one uh, it is going to update uh, now update happen and uh, see the test is added to this uh, two records now our validation is happening and the team QA they are testing that they said no no this was not supposed to be done so test you are not supposed to add the test you were supposed to um, and with these records we should not have actual test we should have something like with the Smith we should add the test your conditions are not right so we made some made, made some mistake now you have this table sitting there and you can go ahead and get the values from here and update in customer so you don't have to worry like what change I made here it was change was very clear you have test you know so you see that by some time you don't remember for thousand records the change could be different so by having these records you can always go back and update the records back so let's say if I want to go back and update this is going to be a little complicated but uh, we have to learn anyways uh, um, I'm, I'm going to have an other chapter on update and all that so we'll say update D and uh, set last name is equal to I'm going to call this one as s dot last name and D dot last name okay from our customer table this is a backup table and I'm going to alias this one as a D inner join so I'm joining uh, this table customer so let me see sorry this is our source table and this is our destination so that's where we need to update them back so and uh, we are updating uh, the destination records uh, to the source records so you see that update uh, we'll say update D okay update destination table and set D dot name is equal to s dot name so this is a where our backup table and we will join on so we know that uh, s dot ID is equal to D dot ID and if I will go ahead and run this statement and here is L name now if I will go ahead and run it is going to take the values from our backup table where it uh, where it matches with the uh, our destination table that's our DBO customer and it is going to update so as of now you can see that we have 
Shazad and uh, this uh, uh, test is added to that one and in this table we have only two records so you see that these are the previous records we saved or backup and this update is going to revert them back so if I run it to records now if I will go ahead and check our table the test part is removed so this is how you will write your queries take the backup of the table uh, entire table or only for the records that you need to update or delete and then in cases of where uh, your QA say no that change is, didn't go through well so you have the backup table uh, right here you write your update statement and bring them back uh, so I hope you learned something out of it and uh, I will go ahead and update uh, these uh, statements uh, um, in the blog let me open that one and here we have a uh, how to create backup uh, new um, or create a new table from existing SQL Server table in SQL Server. So this is under SQL Server T SQL tutorial on Tech Brothers IT, and this is chapter seven. So this is uh, the sixth post I have written. So if you click here, you will see that all scripts are available there. I will put the link in the description. Thanks very much for spending time with me, and I will see you guys uh, next time.